From women dali wanna see dance today. Shangwe na yo seke kasi dance today. Dave Castleman here with Castleman's Canada, and uh, I'm here with Gerard. Gerard is from Kenya. Gerard, tell me a little bit about yourself. Wow, as you have just said, my name is Gerard, and the other name, family name is Motondi. Gerard Motondi comes from Kenya in a small village, 300 kilometers west, southwest of Nairobi. The village is very famous for stone carving. It's actually a cultural a carve, stone carving uh, community. And that is where I grew up, I schooled there, and I'm happy to be in Canada so that my cultural activities can be also be brought, work be uh, left in Canada, and that is great. So for me, actually, um, what I can say is that I learned stone carving techniques uh, through apprenticeship from those uh, old men in the village who just trained me, and I was able uh, to make small figurines, just like what we can see over here. And uh, now, later on, after high school, I continued and became a teacher, I trained for teaching. Uh, that's the time my tutor, my lecturer, realized that I have the potential of becoming an artist. So he really advised me to go and um, uh, do a lot of uh, study and uh, uh, enter into active art production. Have you got art that you're building from your heart? Or are you taking art from where you learned it in university and, and the ideas of your professors? No, basically the art I'm taking is from me is what I feel because most of my pieces are communicative because they are for public consumption so I believe that they are giving a message to whoever that is seeing it like what I've just uh, I designed for Canada here uh, desire to be now desire to be basically is a phenomenon that is in every human aspect that every time we desire to be something every time we want to be something else so because of that uh, like the one I made in uh, Dubai, as I told you, Target, is that we set lofty targets in our lives. So we must compete and work hard to achieve these targets. And also another one that I made in, uh, in Canada, no, not in Canada, but in China, uh, that was talking about starting point on the max. Now, I believe that what we are in life depends on how we start. So our starting point is basically very important. So most of my works, as I can say, basically are not for what I learned. They are actually what I feel I should tell people, what I feel people should get, uh, what I feel people should realize because you find somebody is doing art, somebody is in need of our art, but he doesn't know how uh, to express himself through that. So my work is expressive, of my own desires, of my communication, of my beliefs and my philosophies. Yeah. So when somebody w is to purchase one of your art pieces, yeah. then they really need you to sit down and talk to them a little bit about what that piece means. Uh, because maybe they might not understand it. Of course, you are very right, because what I actually do, uh, once I design, once I design a piece of art, uh, I have to get the concept from the person wanting it. Like now when the Bijan Rocks uh, organized for this symposium, they, asked, they gave a theme and asked us to design. So in that design I have to write an abstract. It is this abstract that explains the philosophy behind the artwork. So this philosophy is going to remain here for life. If this piece like this is uh, made of uh, marble, very hard marble of course from the British Columbia, I believe this piece can stay for over 2000, two, uh, 2000 years. So since it is going to be a lifetime sculpture, I then believe that it's going to pass the information from one generation to another. And this generation will have the story to be told. This was created by Motondi from Kenya, and the meaning is de desire to be. And you see there are two people, one is down, the other one is up. The other one who is up is desiring to be somebody who is down because he admires the love, uh, life down there being very simple, uh, being very comfortable. While the person down is also desiring to be up because he believes those people are up at the top eh, with very fancy cars, with very good life, good houses. They could be comfortable. But the reality is that each and every aspect of life has its own problems. So I believe that desire to be 
is something that is there in every time because when we look at this people down this is symbolic of people down this is symbolic of people up the two classes of people that we are talking about so when we look at this aspect of people down we have the low class people those are the people who live from hand to mouth, the people who don't care about security, the people who are just there, they live by the grace of God. And their life is simple, they're very comfortable, they don't need security around them, they don't need people to guard them with the guns. So because of that, somebody who has succeeded, every time is suspicious of himself, every time is fearing uh, what's going to happen. So uh, we believe that these people could be desiring to be what those people, symbol people, the symbol life uh, could be like. So uh, because of that, I designed this. And the jury, I'm told there were 47 applicants for this symposium. Mm -hmm. And the, 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 the organizer only wanted five artists. So I believe the information that was contained in my design, the information that the story that is being told by this uh, design and the, the, the big piece that is going to be, uh, I believe that that is what made the jury say, oh, Motondi should come here and make us this type of communicative public art. Because whenever it's going to be placed, I believe people are going to move to this sculpture park. They're gonna, because it's going to be very smooth, you know, something that you'll be touching, I'm gonna polish it. And uh, it's for accession moment, so it's gonna be a good piece. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for today. I'm sure we're going to come back and You're talk most, to you again when it's Most closer. welcome. I believe yeah. it's gonna be a good piece. And yeah. you see, as what I've just said is to make uh, the smoothening aspect of it. I'm starting to polish it now. And then maybe after two days it's gonna stand up because you see it is easier to work when it is down so uh, after two three days of work on the other side I'm going to make it stand upright mm -hmm. now it's gonna be a tall piece uh, about 1.5 meters and then I'm going to get the base which is also about one meter so it's going to be a very tall piece mm -hmm. about 2.5 meters and I believe it's going to be incredible incredible lady Fantastic. Thank you. Oh, most welcome. And I'm also very happy because of the hospitality and the people of Canada. Uh, they are very good people, very friendly. And they have really given us the, uh, the morale as artists working here. Because every time we find people visiting us from all over Canada, you know, they have heard about this symposium. And for those who have not come, we believe they are going to come and uh, they have really given us encouragement. You know, when you are doing something is, that is being appreciated, it also gives you the energy eh, eh, to hold the grind much harder, you know. It is very hard. So when you get the energy, you keep on, you know, like that. And <laughs> with Oh, my dear Matandi friend! <laughs> finish! Finish! Wow, wow, wow! Nice polish! Nice. I finish polish. Maybe today yeah. I carry it and take it up there. Uh huh. Wow, wow. A good form, oh, good. Good time we've been Desire. together, my friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> and uh, we also meet, uh, uh, we was meet in Russia. Oh yeah. Yes, in, in nice. Tenza, we work Tenza. together and yeah. this second time, maybe third time we meet maybe in third time. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that sure. That very great because you're my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Good. 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 Yeah, for you is because in future I would like to do yeah yeah and, and and for you is very good you always use uh, polish in yeah, your exactly. sculpture is yeah, very good is yeah polishing a lot yeah and very hard work could be very good yeah yeah, yeah. it's a it's a very good polish maybe sometimes yeah. you know but this some some areas just... some areas very difficult to be the hand yeah, the machine inside, is not going inside, inside yeah exactly like exactly yeah. and uh, your base is ready. The base is ready, the scalp is ready, just like silver. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can enjoy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And just, yeah. Look. yeah. I can, I can stand here. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just enjoy sculpture. Yeah. Sculpture is good, and when you put in the sculpture, it's very nice. Yeah. Very yeah. nice, very smart. And I saw yeah. your uh, base is very good also. Yeah, the yeah, base very is good. now. Yeah. Also do a little polishing on top. And, mm -hmm. yeah. So...
Now, basically what I'm doing here is to get the chips that I had from my sculpture and uh, take them up to the base around where uh, the sculpture is going to be placed. So I've been, I'm going to take this and it has got two meanings. One, for whoever that is going to come to the park to see the sculpture is going to realize that this sculpture was not brought from somewhere else and the place of the park. It was just made right at the park. Two, these uh, small uh, chips of marble are very communicative in that the sculpture is one, but our diverse cultures can also be used and put together to make something very important in life. So basically what I'm doing is get off these chips, put them together, put them around the, uh, the sculpture and the pedestal, and we was going to come, you will realize that work was done. So desire to be is actually one work that is amazing and interesting that I've made in my life and left it as history in Canada. Great. The same here. Oh, keen watch. Keen watch here actually is referring, you see the same face, yeah. but you have to be very keen whatever you do. So that's a keen watch. That in all our lives, we need to be very keen in whatever we endeavor in. Uh, it's actually, t I took it in exhibition in Chang uh, Shanghai, China, and it's one of the museums in China. Wow, the, these different types of fish, inseparable. For the uh, Olympic, Beijing Olympics, it mm -hmm. won the gold medal. Yeah, so different types of fish. For you to reach the top, you need support from the bottom. Mm -hmm. You cannot just succeed if you're individual. You need other people for you to succeed, really. So it's inseparable. And then we have uh, this one is talking about procreation. Procreation is, uh, I did it in, Israel, in Penza, Russia last year. I was with Morton there. Neat. Really, yeah, yeah, that's right. He was in yeah. Russia last year. So uh, this is one bird. Uh, uh, the other side but if you look again from the other side you see the same same bird as if they are two so they are mating and that is the beginning of a uh, family mm -hmm. procreation because the theme of that symposium was about uh, family so this procreation that was the title of this uh, sculpture that I made there this I did uh, last uh, uh, month no, in uh, April in April? Israel yeah mm -hmm. uh, down to earth it's quite amazing because the design really coincided with the Jewish uh, traditions that uh, man is created from the earth. <laughs> Hondani <laughs> Oh, akugu zenda ni yaku papa Haki jungi kiwe kwe kisi matitaka Hemu jenga wa mungu ni 
kanisa lake kanisa siji weli o jengwa na watu kuna mafuta ya roho kwa matiba humo jera na maradhi ya kuanda hero amisajibu wa kisima cha naye musinye maji ya haonji ya ni wala visima cha vya nyeta kaseka Uzima warani okizima changa uanya ye ukweli uo unya uzi haili ni yule anaye jawanaro matunda anayo zani yaro utu wa una nafasi ndani upen rona ukweli ni kipimo cha